Good early evening, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. <laughs> Looks like going to rain, and it's a little bit windy. But thanks be to God again for this wonderful early evening. Yay! Yes, Lord, we want to praise you, Lord, and we want to glorify you, O God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. And you are with us right now. <laughs> yes, Lord, thank you. Blessed to your heart. Hello, baby. Come. Come on. Come on, have your breakfast. Uh, dinner. And, uh, yes. How much I love you. I stand. In your presence, giving all to you. Yes, come here, baby. I never want to. I never want to be far away from you, Lord. Amen. Oh, thank you. Go astray. Oh, Thank you, Lord, for this lovely evening once again. My be my birds coming in and out to have the dinner. <laughs> With you, Jesus, I'm in love. With you, oh yes. Deeper, deeper in love. With you. <laughs> Oh my God, my Father God, <laughs> thank you Lord for this lovely early evening once again, and uh, it is so nice to spend time with you, Lord God, hallelujah, oh thank you Father, amen, closer to your heart, draw me closer to your heart, Lord, amen. I love Take me deeper, Lord. Deeper in love with you. We want so much more. Jesus, I want more of you. Yes, Jesus. I want more of you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. It is wonderful time for me again to be able to read your love message. Love letter, yes, the Bible for us tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, as we continue to read your love letter for us today, hallelujah, tonight, give us, Lord, to understand, Father. Give us, O Lord God, thy spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O Lord God, as we continue to read. Your love letter for us tonight, Lord. We really need you, Father, because, Lord, truly, we are nothing without you, Father God. Hallelujah. But with you, O oh Lord God, we have everything. Amen, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Draw us closer to your hearts, Lord. 
Draw me closer to your heart, Father. Thank you, Lord, for the cross, the mighty cross, that you died on the cross for my sins. Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your great love. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Come, mga mahal. Let's continue on reading God's love letter for us today. And it will be now in our Second Peter. Yep. Second Peter chapter 2. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come, let's continue on reading now. Father, again, Father God, help us to understand. Give us, Lord, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Lord, as we continue to read your love letter for us today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Thank you, Father. Okay. Second Peter, chapter 1. Greetings from Peter. This letter is from Simon Peter, a slave and apostle of Jesus Christ. I am writing to you who share the same precious faith we have. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And this faith was given to you because of the justice and fairness of Jesus Christ, our God and Savior. Amen. Thank you, Lord. May God give you more and more grace and, hallelujah, and peace as you grow in your knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord. Amen. By His divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know Him. Yes, Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Let's turn the page. By coming to know Him and, hallelujah, by coming to know Him, the one who called us to Himself, by means of His marvelous glory and excellence. And because of His glory and excellence, He has given us great and precious promises. These are the promises that enable you to share His divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. In view of all this, make every effort to respond to God's promises, supplement your faith with a generous provision and moral excellence, and moral excellence with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with patience, endurance, and patience, endurance with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love for everyone. The more you grow like this, the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But those who fail to develop in this way are short-sighted or blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their old sins. So, their brothers and sisters, work hard to prove that you really are among those God has called and chosen. Do these things and you will never fall away. Then God will give you a grand entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, thank you, Lord. Help us. Ooh. Paying attention to Scripture. Therefore, I will always remind you about these things, even though you already know 
them and are standing firm in the truth you have been taught. And it is only right that I should keep on reminding you as long as I live. For our Lord Jesus Christ has shown me that I must soon leave this earthly life. So I will work hard to make sure you always remember these things after I am gone. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you. You know what am I, I am doing this also? Because uh, I am going to heaven as well and... <laughs> I pray that they will be able to read this later, this God's love letter for those who do not know Him. And one day, I will go to heaven as well. And I'm very sure that I will go to heaven because I have the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that those people will receive the Lord as their personal Lord and save you and walk with Him. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one is a post of page I was writing so that when he is gone, this can be read again. And now we are reading it. And he wants us to have eternal life with Jesus. And oh, thank you, Lord, for Apostle Peter and all the apostles. <laughs> Come, let's carry on reading. Lord, I pray for those who do not know your Lord to receive you as their personal Lord and save you. Because really, in this earth, nothing. You may have gold and silver whatsoever. It's not. It's your. It's your. It's not your diploma. It's not your gold and silver and pearl and whatever. It not. It's not your how beautiful you are whatsoever. How clever you are. It's not that. Nothing. All will be gone. All will perish. But if you have the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, then we will live forever and ever with the Lord. And we will be with Him in heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for that mighty cross. Oh, thank you, Lord, for your love. Come, let's carry on reading. Oh, thank you, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord, for all your beautiful creation, for everything, Lord. Okay, let's read again, okay? Okay, don't cry, don't cry. Oh, thank you, Lord. Okay, let's read again. Okay. Okay, paying attention to scripture. Therefore, I will always remind you about these things, even though you already know them and are standing firm in the truth you have been taught. And it is only right that I should keep on reminding you as long as I live for our oh, Jesus Lord Jesus Christ has shown me that uh, I must soon live this earthly life. So, I will work hard to make sure you always remember these things after I am gone. Then, verse 16. For we were not coming up clever stories when we told you about the powerful coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We saw his majestic splendor with our own eyes. Yes, because Apostle Peter, James, and John went to the mountain with the Lord Jesus Christ. and <laughs> He was transformed there and the Heavenly Father, God, spoke. He spoke to Jesus. You can read that again in the Bible. And so, okay, let's read again. So, when we receive... <laughs> We saw his majesty, this Apostle Peter, James, and John saw Jesus' majesty. We saw his majesty, oh, splendor with our own eyes, when he received honor and glory from God the Father. The voice from the majestic glory of God said to him, This is my dearly loved son, who brings me great joy. We ourselves heard that voice from heaven when we heard when we were with him on the holy mountain. Because of that experience, we have even greater confidence in the message proclaimed by the prophets. You must pay close attention to what they wrote, 
for the words are like a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and cries the morning star shines in your hearts above all you must realize that no prophecy in scripture even came from the prophets own understanding or from human initiative no no those words were moved by the holy spirit and they spoke from god yes thank you lord oh, thank you father oh we praise the lord and we glorify you god um thank you mama mahal for reading god's love letter with me today you can read this again by yourself i'm just going to zoom it just like that so that you can read by yourself one-on-one -on -one with the lord jesus christ and he will speak to your heart because um, the lord god love you so very much okay so read again thank you and may the lord bless you and if any one of you has not received the lord jesus christ as your personal lord and savior you may receive him right now come let's pray lord jesus i need you thank you for dying on the cross for my sins i open the door of my life and receive you as my savior and lord i repent of my sins thank you for the forgiveness of my sins and giving me eternal life make me the kind of person you want me to be Amen. My fellow God's beloved, if you have prayed a prayer from your heart, then Christ came into your life. Your sins were forgiven. You became a child of God. You received eternal life. You began the great adventure for which God created you. And continue on reading God's word, his love letter to us. Amen. Amen. Have a nice early evening. God bless and take care. Let's do it again tomorrow. <laughs> so cute. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Amen. Bye. Enjoy the early night and have a good night's sleep later on. Amen. Amen. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>